Dale Belloch is back when he's not moving for Debo moving. He's on the move, of course, his significant other, Carrie Ellis and I. Here at the club at Shadow Lakes, per request, Jimmy Maggs made me an offer this morning and I couldn't refuse. And every time I try to get out, they drag me back in. Daughter Janet is working that incredible lounge, the pro shop, Father's Day fast approaching. So dear old dad would love a round of golf at the best public course anywhere. And of course, Father's Day dinner for dad as well. New chef on duty, a whole new menu. We're gonna be telling you about that in the weeks and months to come. But it's the 124th U.S. Open next year at Oakmont. Last night on my radio show, longtime director of golf, Bob Ford joined me live from Pinehurst. He was there because Tiger Woods getting ready to play some golf, and I think the terrain will give him a chance to actually compete. I'll explain it in a moment. He received the Bobby Jones Award, and that was a big night. So let's talk about Tiger Woods, because obviously that's your wheelhouse because of your age. Total domination is the best um, way to describe how he you played. You can't even you can't even put a put a fork to that one. Like he he came onto the scene as a phenom and he just killed the whole entire class. Like it was just nonstop. And just his his ability to drive the ball, to stay on the greens, to to do everything from putting, like it's iconic. You know, you just you think about all of the, the Masters, the, 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 the U.S. Opens, everything that he did, that he won, it's, it's crazy. This is a beautiful track of golf, but something has come to my mind when I think of that other part of your family connection as in Debo. Greg Debo, who I spent many nights at that place at his Wooly Bullies enjoying some cold draft beer. And I actually went there per request from my friend Mark Nemesak. He built his own golf course out on block. Absolutely. Outside. Please talk to me about that. That man is an animal. It's, I love it. It's him. pretty crazy, actually. So as far as the building is concerned, it was pre-existing for the most part. He put the greens back in, and he would get his buddies to come out and play literally four or five holes of golf. They'd literally go back and forth. Got the golf carts in his front yard, and you just go across the little bridge over the little creek, the stream, and you could play all the golf to your heart's content. Look, Ed Shewak supplies beer to everyone, including this place and where we're going after to Manaka and P-Dubs. Does he have a liquor license there yet? I mean, he should. <laughs> he could have golf little, outings. It's beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, do you realize the effort that he put into that yeah. and everyone that helped Tons. him? I mean, it's amazing. Like I don't think there's anybody in the country who's done anything like that. All right, now, here's what I told Bobby Ford last night. You're a whole lot younger than me, but I've been so blessed for so many reasons in my life to have witnessed some great golfers. Of course, going back to the 60s when I sat in that home up in Galbranson Heights on Russell Drive, the Nemesak family, Big Joe Nemesak, every single Sunday would be in that lazy boy, and we'd be watching Pat Summerall and company, CBS Golf, and it was always guys like Jack Nicholas, Arnold Palmer, Billy Casper, Gary Player. So I witnessed all of that. And of course, the Golden Bear and Arnie, two of the all-time great. Of course, the Memorial Tournament last week, and then Tiger Woods, he Bill Mickelson, Payne Stewart. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you more about him in a moment. But this guy, Scotty Scheffler, has won five before the U.S. Open. Something that the Golden Bear, Tiger, never, ever even came close to doing. But here I am, and I was up early today in the gym at home, and I was watching the Golf Channel, which I absolutely love. Obviously, Dick Sporting Goods, Mr. Stack and Company, good friends, big sponsorship, that always makes me smile. Golf Galaxy. Um, I'm watching this guy just work it, you know, working out, and, you know, working on his chipping and his putting and what have you out on the driving range. And I thought, here I am again, getting a trifecta, if you will, an opportunity to watch maybe the future, 27 years of age, and he's dominating the field, the number one golfer in the world. He's amazing. Absolutely. Just got to learn how to curb a few things in his oh, yeah, life. But, <laughs> but that proves me one thing, and kind of like me, he has that focus what? on and off. Yeah, he's human. Right. Absolutely he human. Is, but he stays focused. Yeah. And, and obviously... It's business, business, business on the course and off the course, you know, hey. That's not what we pay to watch, you know what I mean? People don't rally around him because of what he does 
off of the course. He's a he's a talent, you know what I mean? Like you you come to watch greatness. And like you said, in the 60s and 70s with Nicholas and Palmer, some of us some of us will never get to 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 say we got to witness some of the best ever if you don't hit it at the right time. You know what Tiger said about Scotty? He said, if he's putting, it's over. He wins running away. But even if he is somewhat off, he's still the guy to beat. The odds he is down. Everyone has him. But what is the best How, driver in the How's game? his back, though? It's good. You know, I mean... If, Who are you talking about? Tiger. Oh, no, oh, you're talking, talking about, about Scott. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I thought you were talking no, about I'll Tiger. No, I'll get to like, him because I'm going to talk about Payne Stewart, too, but... Scotty Scheffler right now, I mean, and then you got the, the Open Championship coming up. He's going to compete in the Paris Olympics, the top four for Team USA, mm -hmm. or USA is going to be there. Honestly, even Tiger in his heyday, I can't remember anybody dominating like this guy. But he's got the best short game, he's one of the best putters in the business, and he is the best golfer driving he's the golf closer. ball he's now. He's a closer. He yeah, is. He he is, um, and I guess he was a pretty exceptional oh, basketball it, player. Somebody was witnessing playing like in the game of pickup basketball I recently. They said he was just oh incredible. God. Now, to Tiger, the terrain, it's flat. His back, the bum ankle, will give him the best chance. But what Tiger Woods loves more than anything else, what I just was sitting in waiting for you and Kerry, the heat. I love the heat, too, because of being in Florida, Jupiter, Florida. Sure. He's conducive. Uh, much better his body doesn't ache as bad when he has the heat. Well, he's super familiar with the course, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean it's not like he's now. never won there. But, you know, how about P Payne Stewart? So, 1999, 25 years ago, he wins. Fist pumped to the heavens. The statue is there. Then within four months, crazy, he was gone. Crazy. And I remember covering that as that plane was flying. Oh, yeah. And just we were waiting for it to come down, and we knew there was obviously a problem. Um... It was surreal, and just mentioning his name as they have on the Golf Channel, it takes me back to being on the air and that uncertainty. And to this day, it's one of those stories that it's just kind of... Well, hard. the early 90s, like you said, I mean, that, that was the transition prior to Tiger. You know what I mean? Right, that right. Was, it, was his, it was his passing of the torch. It was to him, and it was supposed to be to Tiger from him. And we just got Tiger from the, the, the tragedy of Payne Stewart. You know what I mean? Like even Jack Nicholas and, and Arnold Palmer again were like, it's not how this is supposed to pan out. No, he was you know? great. You, you want competition. You want somebody who's going to be good like a few years ago when Garcia was killing it. You, you have the inkling of hope. And again, you just want somebody to get out on a course and wow you. Well, you know, speaking of this year's tournament, other than Scotty, you got Xander Shopley mm -hmm. coming off his first major win. Um, Rom is out because of the foot toe situation, which Bob Ford told me that last night is it broke, and that's that's not good as far as the competitive aspect of it. But Colin Morikawa, I mean, honestly, I think this is Scotty Scheffler's tournament to lose. And, you know, obviously next year it's Oakmont, which is known for its church pews. Um, Pebble Beach is the other great U.S. Open, USGA course, known for the sea breeze. And then you've got this place, the bunkers and other things that they call like cereal bowls turned right. upside down. A Donald Ross course that has been around for a long time. Then it was reconfigured later. And one of the people doing that was General Ben, the great Ben Crenshaw. But Pinehurst number two is as historic as any historic course in this country, but especially conducive, and it's got the reputation in the history. It's, a, go it's a golf town. Right. And that's what they do. It's in the middle of the woods. And the pine trees are uh, abundant. I've, I've done a couple moves there, and it's just, like, mind-blowing. The money that's there. And obviously the ability to play anytime you want when you have it in your backyard. Being that we're kind of looking back with some history, maybe too young, but do you remember a guy by the name of Burt Painter who happened to be from Beaver County? Let me just tell you about Burt Painter. Burt Painter was one of the first on the Golf Channel and ABC and others. He was out traveling and he would take a crew from New Brighton and pick up guys kind of like the moving business. Right. Whoever was ready to make a few bucks. And when he passed, he just basically threw an epic party that went on for days, I think. But he would tell me these stories about being out on the tour. It was kind of like the old carnival days. They would go from city to city, course to course. 
And when I think of these golfers, and I was talking to Bob Ford last night, and he was uh, uh, doing a stream with me on our, our Facebook, on my Facebook page. I have a clip if you want to check it out. Our KDKA watch, which you can get to by going to kdkradio.com. We now do interviews in which we're also streaming the visual, kind of like, you know, FaceTime, right? And he was in a hotel room by himself, and I thought to myself, everybody sees the glory in what these men and women do, these professional golfers and athletes. But how many nights they're just in these hotel rooms all alone, Doing just whatever. waiting for the next day to compete, you know? Absolutely. So it's kind of a lonely life, too. It's like, sounds like truck driving to me. You know a little bit about that. So, do you even golf? I do not. It's you know not, you could probably be a pretty good golfer. My, uh, my, my two oldest boys golf, and they're super good. They, you know they, the they can drive the hell out of it. They're baseball players, though. That's like synonymous. Well, you know, I love golf, but I just, my brain goes so fast. I can't take four hours out of my day to go golfing. I mean, just sitting here waiting to do your video, I was climbing a wall. I uh, actually, I mean, I'm pretty good at top golf. I, I won at the Angry Bird game against, you know, my kids and Carrie and my mom and a couple other things, but it, uh, I don't know. Golf is not my forte. Well, top golf is a pretty cool thing. Listen, uh, down there near Bridgeville. Before I say goodbye, uh, Jimmy Mags, Janet, the whole crew, if you got a wedding in your future, you got anything going on, graduation party, this is the place. Father's Day, big day for the course, obviously great food, Jimmy Mags restaurant, the new menu is on its way, it's gonna be off the charts. Uh, this is uh, a crown jewel, and we're so fortunate to have it in Beaver County. And people come from all over to play this course, and what Jimmy and his crew have done is absolutely incredible. Golf Channel all weekend, and don't forget the Coons Quality Foods Black and Gold Sunday Show. We're going to be talking all about it. you got that Coons Market right here in Hopewell. Everything for Dad awaits you there. And don't forget, if you're anywhere near McKnight Road or Banksville Road, over 600 varieties of your favorite beers, micro brews, craft beers, and more. But in the meantime, tell them where we're headed. We're going to P-Dubs in Manaka. Paul Miller is a legend. He's, he's all right. He's my hero. I love Paulie. All right. You know, I don't know what cologne you're wearing, but it's a very nice cologne. Thank I'm you. Downwind. What is that cologne? It's a, it's Yoop. Yoop. Yep. It's a little pink bottle. Where can it's you a summer up at? Anywhere. You can go to Macy's, Boss Cops. They all be on before have it? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. JC Penny. It's old oh, school. I take I care stick of to my fragrance like like no other. All right. Much more to come with your Pat Pack. We're gonna get out of the sun, and we'll see you in just a little bit at P Dubs in Manhattan.